Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the uh, WebEx Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna give you a little sneak peek into something we currently have in our early field trials. And it has to do with being able to clean up uh, or set a custom cleanup timer for your whiteboards and website data. So one of the common things that we get asked um, is that, uh, and, I, and I'll give you a scenario example here. You know, you're, you're in a, a room, you're working, you're on a WebEx board, you're doing a whole bunch of different whiteboards and um, you go to leave for lunch, and then you come back from lunch, you activate the board from half wake and you uh, find out that all your uh, boards are gone. Um, so that means that the cleanup was happening as part of a security you know, feature that we had, but it was definitely something that our customers would like to have customized. So unless you were able to you know, save the boards before you left or uh, open up a space on the board to be able to have them permanently saved and bound to a space, it was a common problem. So what I'm going to show you today is something we currently have in EFT that gives you some more customization as to um, how you want to manage your whiteboard and website data on your device. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up, um, you see I've got my board behind me here, and this board is in half wake. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to wake it up just like I'm going to use it like normal. And the first thing I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to go ahead and just start a whiteboard. So, um, and I'm no graphical expert here uh, or have any talent whatsoever, but we are going to scribble some very important stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new whiteboard just because uh, we have even more important stuff that we need to talk about. And as you can see there, we've got all kinds of important data. So I'm gonna look here and see that I've got both of my whiteboards right here. Um, and of course, from this point, I could go ahead and hit save send those to a space or email the whiteboards. You guys will notice that on the channel, we've got some videos kind of showing you how to do that already, uh, or I could delete them. But what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna go back to this board that we had, and I'm gonna hit my home screen button here and go back to the, the home screen. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that there's a new button. We have this in session button down here. Now, before I actually go and show you that, um, I'm going to kind of demonstrate uh, one more thing. Um, so normally what would happen is, is you'd walk away, uh, you wouldn't have this in session button um, and you know, the device would go into half wake and the cleanup timer would happen and you'd come back and your whiteboards would be gone. So what I'm actually going to do here for you is I'm just going to simulate uh, my device. I'm going to force it into half wake, which will be kind of like uh, simulating that whole cleanup timer, if you will. So you see we're back in half wake, got back from lunch, going to uh, wake this guy back up. So here I go. You'll notice I still have this in session. So I'm going to go hit my whiteboard um, icon again. And the first thing you'll notice there are my whiteboards. So I have these saved, they've not been deleted. They're still actually um, available on the board for me. I still have the option to save, but we're gonna show you a, a couple other things here. So going forward, I'm also gonna show you something else. So let's say that uh, we do have some web apps and I'm gonna uh, open up Office 365 here to give you another example. So with this cleanup timer, we have the ability to kind of cache or save some cookies and things that are part of websites. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And let's just hope I get this all done the first time here. And get logged in with my password. I am going to go ahead and tell it just to keep me saved in. It adds a little cookie, makes it easier for me the next time. But uh, so all I'm going to bring up here is the portal page for Office 365. So I could, uh, you know, you see this is loading up in the background here. It's, um, oops, sorry, let me uh, bring this view back here for you. Um, so this right here is also uh, bringing you, uh, you know, all the different applications that you can run. Um, so you see that this is available. Um, this is uh, something I can navigate. Um, so I can hit my all apps here. You see this is an actual web app. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home screen again. And I still have my in session button. Now, one of the things that I wanna show you here is, is that let's say that I go back to my whiteboards and we do some more work on uh, our red board here. So I'm going into a completely different application. You see this is still live, exit back. Now I need to go back into my Office 365 web app. Well, one cool thing you'll notice now is when it loads up is I'll still be logged in and I'm right back to where I was. So I can uh, come back here, go to any of my apps. It's still me, makes it very easy for my workflow to be able to go back. And so all of that is happening because I'm not doing any cleanup yet. So now what I'm gonna do is show you 
what happens if I do want to clean this up? Um, so by default, we have it set to do this cleanup daily, and you'll be able to set that timer uh, depending on what hour of the day you want it to happen. By default, it'll be the local time at midnight. Um, but what I'm going to do here is show you what happens when you hit the end session button. So when you click on it, you're going to see a new cleanup icon here, or dialog. So it's going to remind you to save your whiteboards before you clean up. You'll notice here that I've got delete two whiteboards. I can clear cookies and website data, or I can just tell it to clean up everything. You'll also notice that there is a message here saying the automatic cleanup is scheduled for midnight. So that's because that's the default. That's what I have it set to. Now I'm going to show you guys how to set this in a second, and then we'll just look at it, see how it's a little bit different. So I can just say delete my whiteboards. This will give me the option to remove the two whiteboards because that's how many I have available. Um, I can tell it just to clear cookies and website data, or I can say clean up everything and it'll clean up all of them in one swoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and just for sake of showing you, I'm gonna do this individually. So we'll delete our whiteboards, put me into half wake there. I'm gonna go back to my end session. You'll see that I still have my cookies and website data, but my whiteboards are gone. So now I'm gonna clear my cookies and website data, clear data, cleaning it up. And then now my end session's gone because I have no data to clean up. So let's take a look now at how we set this up. So I'm gonna to go to Chrome here. Now I've got my trusty WebEx Edge board. If you've seen my videos, you're familiar with this page already. Um, so I'm gonna to go to the device here and there's two things I wanna show you. So first of all, this is something that can be configured uh, via the advanced configurations tab uh, right here. So if you go to the advanced configurations tab and you start to type in room cleanup, you're gonna see auto run, and you're gonna be able to set things like the hour of the day. So I can go from zero, which will be midnight, all the way up to 23, which would be uh, 11 uh, p.m. So I can choose which hour, uh, it's on the default right now. Um, and then I can also choose content type. Now, when I choose my content type, uh, if I go to whiteboards, right now I'm gonna have a couple options. So I've got either daily, which is the default, or I can turn it off. So if you think about that, especially if I have something in a, a, a secure office and I don't wanna have my whiteboards ever deleted, if I turn that off, I will not be bound by the cleanup timer. So my whiteboards will stay there indefinitely. Same thing goes to my web data. I have the same options here daily. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this one to off because I'm gonna save it and watch it apply. And then I'm also going to change my hour of the day and we'll slide it over here to 7 a.m. and then hit save. Okay, so now what I also wanna show you though um, is how you can do this on the device itself, especially if you're not um, uh, WebEx Edge or cloud enabled. So I've already done my cross launch here. I'm on my system. Um, you see here I'm on my, uh, my homepage. What I'm gonna do is go back to my setup and I'm gonna my configuration. And same thing, it was the room cleanup. So I can search for it or you'll actually see it right down here. I'm gonna, oops, I just realized that I am over it. So there it is, I hit room cleanup, my video's in the way. And you'll notice that the settings that I did from Control Hub are already there. So my hour of the day has changed from midnight to seven or zero to seven. My web data is set to off and my whiteboards are set to daily. So I'm gonna set those to, both of these to off. I'm gonna hit save. And now what we're gonna do for one more quick little demo is we're gonna bring this back up I'm gonna do a quick little whiteboard now. So this is a brand new one, doing my important data, my work here. I'm gonna go my, hit my end session. And one thing you'll notice now is, is that my alert alerted me that it was gonna be automatically cleaned up tonight at midnight is now gone because I have this set to uh, not do an automatic cleanup. So, all in all, that is a early preview of the new uh, ability to customize your cleanup timers. I hope this is something that you guys are looking forward to. It's been requested. It's something that uh, I've been working um, and lobbying to try to get done. So I hope that this is beneficial for everybody. Uh, please like, give some comments if you wanna see any more demos below uh, or if you have any suggestions on other improvements. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching and um, look forward to you guys seeing the next video. Thanks.